Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to talk about forensic retaining wall. So, what is retaining wall? Retaining wall is a structure designed and constructed to resist the lateral pressure of soil when there is a desire change in ground elevation that exceeds the angle of repose of the soil. There's one case of abandoned retaining wall at Jalan Kanglama. Let's pass to Shahada to report at the site location. Hi, Assalamualaikum. I'm now at Klang Lama. We got a complaint from the residents regarding this abandoned return wall. So why it happened, let us take a look the truth behind the return wall. Let us take a look. public with us. She will be going to tell us about the abandoned retaining wall. Oh, I'm so worried because the wall starting to thin and cracks and the thing uh, that needs to be considered when people or children walking or playing near this wall. So if something happens, it will affect us. This wall uh, started abandoned uh, in 2007. So until now, it's about uh, seven years yeah. abandoned. Okay, right now this site is located at Lot One Four Two Three in Jalan Desa Sentosa, Kelang Lama. Uh, based on the information given by DBKL, uh, this project was started in 2004 and was abandoned in 2007. So, um, the responsible developer was uh, in Mampu Jaya Sindaran Berhad. Actually, there is a uh, three locations of type uh, wall, retaining wall, which is the type A uh, in uh, another area, which is uh, 84 meter, type B, uh, wall, wall B, sorry, uh, which is 80 meter, and the last one is uh, wall C, which is 91 meter. So, here we add uh, wall B. by the existing residential area. Some of the retaining wall was constructed near near to the to their uh, house and the public complains that the retaining wall um, was cracking, tilting and bulging uh, on the existing wall. Based on our uh, observation, the structural distress is happening due to water seeping through the weak hole. Because of the project is abandoned for a long time. Um, the existing wall was faced some failure. Other than that, uh, a public is quite worried about this condition of retaining wall uh, because it's too dangerous and too close from their house. Uh, actually, um, the previous contractor based on the investigation uh, does not follow the requirement uh, that is uh, stated in the contracts. The actual height of this uh, retaining wall was uh, 6 meters, but uh, have extended to the 3 meters, uh, then the total height is 9 meters high. So uh, the requirement uh, stated in the contract is does not follow by, by the previous contractor. Other than that, uh, the factor of safety for the retaining walls is lower, which is can cause uh, the failure to the retaining wall. Uh, as you can see, it also have uh, improper construction here. The cause uh, that lead to the abandoned to this abandoned project is the financial problem, which is they do not follow the specification, and also they uh, and also they face the problem of over budget, which is they plan to build this uh, wall for six meter but they construct up to 9 meters. Before start project, uh, we should know the, um, uh, the background and the performance of the contractor. Um, other than that, 
this problem is also caused because of the um, mismanagement between the parties involved, uh, like developers, clients, and others. Okay, in terms of safety and social, uh, if anything happen uh, to this returning wall, such as uh, the, uh, the wall is collapsed, the occupant will face the uh, experience the failure of this returning wall. We need to propose some actions, uh, such as demolish the existing wall, do some sloping works, and increase the strength by anchoring. Before I end this program, some immediate action must be done from responsible department before any incident happens.